It's time to check your money with America's Money Maven, Vicki Brackens. Vicki Brackens is the president of Brackens Financial Solutions Network, LLC, and a registered representative of LPL Financial, member SIPC. Good morning, Vicki. How are you doing? Oh, George, I'm doing very, very well. I think I'm still rubbing my tummy, though. Aren't you still full? <laughs> you, listen, <laughs> my family, right, with leftovers, by Saturday, they're like, mm. uh-uh, we... Okay, but I'm Mister. Okay, I'm, I, I, I keep it moving. I'm like, nah, I'm good. I, I'm still, I'm still, I'm still good. I'm rubbing my tummy. I'm doing sandwich. I'm doing everything. I look up all these different recipes. Yes. I'm doing everything. I'm doing everything. Okay, all right. Then well, I'm with you, George, on I that. Hope. So you know what? I I hope that um, everybody had a wonderful holiday. Yes. Sounds like you did. I did. I want to make sure though that. As we uh, move forward, you know, it's almost the end of the year. As uh, we move forward toward the end of the year, usually we, we start to try and you know, tie a bow on some things and wrap some things up. So mm -hmm. I want to go back to a, a conversation, actually a phrase that we continually hear, which is generational wealth. Yes. And talk about an article that I saw that was uh, run on October 12th in CNBC.com. And it talked about in this article, the six conditions to building wealth. And there was something that really struck my fancy. And I'm going to spend a few moments discussing that today. Now, this was done by the Aspen Institute, A-S-P-E-N. Uh, it's an international not-for-profit organization. They were founded back in um, 1949. Originally, they were called the Aspen Institute for Humanistic Studies. Uh, and their mission really is to change through dialogue leadership and action to cause change and take action to help to solve some of the most challenging uh, issues facing the United States and the world uh, in, in its time. Now, they uh, referenced, and I'm not going to read the whole article, you can go on to cnbc.com and do so under the title of uh, the six conditions to build wealth. But there was uh, a shocking fact in there. One, you know how you know something, George, but you don't. You hear it and then it kind of shocks you because you you've forgotten it. And yeah. that is the first one is this: fifty percent of the households in America only hold about two point three percent of all the wealth in America. That's according to the Federal Reserve uh, back in twenty twenty one. Thirty percent of the wealth is held by one percent. Now I'm not going to go in today to talk about all the injustice and and. Uh, around that fact. But what I want to look at is one of the key factors, and this is such a simple factor. It's one that I know that once I say it, everybody's going to go like, well, of course. But there is one key precondition that the that the survey and the research identified as being essential to building wealth in families. There were also five subconditions, but I want to deal with this one key precondition. Pre that's essential to building generational wealth. And here it is. I'm like suspense. You I, ready? I wish I had my drum did roll. I, did I build it up? <laughs> okay, I did my job now. One precondition, and here it is. And it is what's been identified. Financial stability. Financial stability is the one precondition that must exist in order to create uh, generational wealth within families. And here's how they define financial stability. Having positive cash flow, having no harmful debt, having the proper emergency fund, and public and workplace benefits. Positive cash flow, listen to this, it's so simple. No harmful debt, an emergency fund, and public and workplace benefits. Well, I'm going to add one additional thing to the financial stability condition because I know that there's one thing that it has, is missing and before we even start there. And that is adding into that financial stability condition communication and a shared commitment to building wealth because I believe that is actually step one that will lay the foundation for all of the other the other four conditions that create financial stability. Communication, 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 
Work and a commitment and a behavioral change through communication will lead to those four things, having positive cash flow, having no harmful debt, having an emergency fund, and utilizing public and workplace benefits. The top three, by the way, you can control. The public and workplace benefits is being controlled by the environment. So you need to understand how to evaluate your benefits, how to properly use them, how to utilize those and leverage those. But the top three, actually the top four, the communication issue can be controlled by you. By the way, they did not put a number on what wealth is. Did you notice that, George? I didn't say you had to have X amount of money. Right, I was one. right. Okay, we, we've discussed this before and we'll come back as far as the de definition of what wealth means to me. That is the reason the communication piece that I've added is so important because we have to have that communication piece in order for the family to establish exactly what they are defining as the work that has to be done mm -hmm. in order to create the cash flow, what work, what behavior has to be changed in order to get rid of harmful debt, what okay, behavioral changes and commitments are needed in order to make sure that we have everything how, necessary for an emergency fund. Yes. How would you define harmful debt? Harmful debt. Harmful debt would be debt that is associated with credit cards, Okay. harmful okay, that is uh, associated with massive consumption mm -hmm. okay. Okay, versus versus well, a mortgage. Think, okay. Right. Okay. right. It doesn't build equity. It doesn't build, it's not an asset value. Exactly. Kind of exactly. Yeah. Okay. And also though, I will put a little caveat here, not paying attention to the servicing costs of the debt that may be justified. So if you, if you have a student loan and depending on how you borrowed and got that money, and you needed to refinance it to refinance it down to a lower debt, then. But but for the most part, we're talking about debt that does not create an asset value going yeah. forward. All right. So, here's my commitment and my gift for the holiday season. Yay! We like presents. You like presents? Okay. I do. <laughs> okay. All right. I'm placing online a shareable guide, which will be step one, which will lead you to step one of accomplishing family financial stability. It will, it's a guide that you can use to set the stage for your communication talk. What you, what's going to happen with that guide is that you will be able to answer the questions together as a family. What does wealth represent to me as a family? How do we feel about money and saving money? What's worth saving for? What are your feelings about spending money? These are conversation starters. And it's the holiday season. We've got time together. This is the time of the year that families spend the most time together. This is the proper time to have these conversations. Like, how has your income influenced your life? Or how do you feel about going into debt and buying things? Let's have these conversations because the number one key, the precondition for making sure that generational wealth happens is to have financial stability and we have to tackle those four areas. Now, how do you get this guide? You're gonna go on to brackensfsn.com, go to, okay, oh, uh, uh, excuse me, www.brackensfsn.com, which is our website. Go over to the area that says on the radio, go down to this segment for today. And there will be a link there because I know you're on the radio and I can't give you the link on the radio. So you got, <laughs> you got to go over and go to the YouTube channel that we have there and copy the link and we, it will download to whatever device that you have. You can share it with your family. You can print it out. Or if for some reason you can't figure this out, call so, me at 315-930-4499. Speak to Melissa. Melissa will make sure that you get it. Again, 315-930-4499. Yes, George, you're about to ask me something. No, I'm just going to tell you that uh, it'll be this this date, which is 11-26-23. That is the date of this show that you're going to look at. Episode, I don't know what the episode number is. I don't but, remember. Okay, oh, wait, it'll be the, no, I got it. Episode oh, you got it? 226. 
Thank you. Episode 226. Okay. Yes. Okay. Episode 226. Okay. If you look for the date, episode 226, or as I said, okay, you can call me, Erico 315-930-4499 and talk to Melissa. Melissa will make sure that you get the guide. Don't waste time, please. This is a perfect time of year for you to have this conversation because we talk about George over and over. We want to build generational wealth, but we never really talk about the definition and what the steps are. Right. And the number one step is creating financial stability within your family. And the way you create financial stability is to do these things. Make sure that you are communicating, communicating, communicating about what is important as far as money and uh, the behavioral changes that are necessary so that you can do these four things. Build a positive cash flow, have no harmful debt, build a proper emergency fund, and adequately take care of your public and workplace benefits. So if you work for a public employer or you work for a private employer, what about my benefits do I need to understand and leverage in order to help me build wealth for myself and for my family. Well, George, the last thing I want to say to everyone is share this segment. Please share this segment. Please share the process for them to get the guide. Please make sure that when you get the guide, you use the guide. Later on in the year, we may even actually run a couple of contests around the guide because I want to hear some things from some of our listeners as to how they used it and how it benefited them. Um, so at this point in time, George, I think it's probably the perfect time for me to say, our plate is full, and we'll see you again next week. All right. Vicki Brackens is the president of Brackens Financial Solutions Network, LLC, and a registered representative of LPL Financial, member SIPC. She is America's Money Maven.